Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back or if it's the first time here, welcome to my channel. Today, we are gonna be doing the best of ColourPop. Now, I have been getting so many requests to do this video ever since I did my best of NYX video. This was probably the most highly requested brand to do next. So basically, I'm gonna be talking about all of my absolute favorite products from the brand. Do not forget to let me know in the comments what your favorite product is from ColourPop because I would love to know. And also let me know what brand you guys would like to see me showcase next. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first category that we're gonna talk about are the cheek products. So blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. Now before I actually jump into each category, I sort of wanna go over the formula of these because they're not like your typical powder or cream, bronzer, blush, or highlighter. So basically Basically, the ColourPop formula is a little bit different than your average formula. It actually has a very interesting texture. When you press your finger into the product, it almost feels pillowy. When you touch it, it almost feels like a cream. It almost has like a wet sensation to it, but it is a powder, so it does apply like a powder. So now let's jump into the highlighters. Now my first highlighter that is definitely my personal all-time favorite is Lunch Money. Now Lunch Money is basically an exact dupe for Becca Moonstone. It's that same really beautiful, soft white gold shade that is very, very flattering for lighter and fairer skin tones. What I really like about the ColourPop highlighters is that they're not honestly too intense, especially for every day and in like direct sunlight, those types of highlighters just tend to be the most flattering and they tend to accentuate like pores and any bumps on your face way less. Now, another one of my favorites is definitely Dreamcatcher. Now that is what I'm wearing on the tops of my cheekbones today. If I were to compare it to any other highlighter, it is a little bit comparable to Champagne Pop from Becca, but it's definitely not an exact dupe, but it still is very reminiscent of it because it has those peachier gold undertones to it. If your skin tone is a little bit on the lighter side and you wanna wear a gold highlighter, but you feel like gold just shows up sort of like as a gold stripe on the tops of your cheekbones This is a really great one to use This would also look really really beautiful on more medium skin tones as well because it's not too light Now if you have a medium or deeper skin tone and you're looking for a gold highlighter Then wisp is definitely my personal favorite it's sort of the perfect gold to use as a highlighter because it's not too yellow It's not too bronze. It's sort of right in the middle that it just looks very flattering on the skin And again, it just has such a beautiful reflective quality to it. I would say that Wisp is a little bit more intense than the other ones previously mentioned just because it is a little bit of a darker highlighter, I guess you could say. So the next highlighter that I want to talk about is definitely a little bit more fun. This highlighter actually has a pink reflect to it. These types of highlighters are also very trendy now. Uh, off the top of my head, I know that Anastasia just came out with a ton of like duo chrome types of highlighters, but of course that is a little bit more expensive. So what I think is really great about something like this is because it is so affordable, it's only like five or six dollars, you are able to try out the trend without breaking the bank. So that is it for highlighters. So now let's move on to blushes. So the first First blush that I want to talk about is this one over here and this one is called holiday so this looks a little bit scary to be honest with you when I first got this in the mail I was like okay there was no way I could wear it because obviously it is a very bright coral shade and right now I'm more tan but typically I'm a little bit more fair so being on the fair side this really scared the shit out of me what's really nice about ColourPop blushes is that they're totally buildable you can either just put a really sheer amount of the product on your face and make it look really nice and natural or of course you could build it up if you're a little bit more on the medium or deeper skin tone side and you want something a little bit more tense you could definitely do that as well it just adds such a healthy healthy amount of color to the cheek. If you're wondering how I like to apply the ColourPop blushes, I like to sort of just pop it on my cheeks with my finger and then again blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. So my favorite pink blush from ColourPop is definitely Between the Sheets. Now the reason why this one is my favorite, it's because it's a little bit different than your typical pink blush. I really like how this one has like a very subtle purpley mauve undertone and I think it looks really flattering on the skin and again I do think that this would work for a lot of different skin tones which is why I wanted to mention today. So the next two blushes that I wanted to recommend are not really blushes. These are actually considered to be some of their highlighters, but the reason why I want to include it in the blush category is because I like to apply these almost as blush toppers. The first one over here is called Tease Cake. Now I'm actually wearing Tease Cake on the apples of my cheeks right now. I think it's sort of faded off a little bit because I've been wearing it for a few hours. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. But basically this is another like reflective pink type of highlighter shade. And because this one in particular is more on the pinkier side, it really does complement more of like a pink blush if it's layered underneath it. So the next one over here is called Highly Wasted. I really 
like to layer this on top of more bronzy blushes. I really feel like it just adds a really cool pop right on the apples of the cheeks. And like I said, it just makes you look even extra glowy. So if you're really into those looks, using these specific highlighters as cheek toppers is a really great way to use them. So now let's talk about the ColourPop bronzer. These bronzers look so amazing on the skin because of the formula, because it's not like a powdery formula. So my favorite way to apply the ColourPop bronzers is actually by using a synthetic brush. I actually think it applies the bronzer the best. And just like the blushes, you could really build them up. So you could just have a very subtle bronze look to your face, or you could build it up if you want something a little bit more intense. So my two favorite shades over here look pretty similar to each other, but I promise there's a reason why I chose both. So the first one over here is called Paradise Cove. So, so this one has a little bit of a sheen to it, but what I really like about it is that it doesn't have any sparkle or shimmer to it, because personally, I'm not the biggest fan of bronzers that have sparkle or shimmer. As far as the color goes, it's really just perfect. It is not too warm. It's not too cool toned. It's really sort of right in the middle that it just warms of the skin perfectly without looking muddy. So this one is called Skinny Dip and it's very similar to Paradise Cove, however it is matte. So when I want more of a matte bronzer look then I do like to use this. I do also like to use this sometimes for contouring because it is not too warm that it's gonna look weird to contour. So that is it for all the cheek products. So now let's move on to ColourPop eyeliners. Now I only have four different eyeliners that I wanted to mention today. Two of them are the gel formula and the other two are the pencil formula. So let's first start off with the gel formula. So so just talking about the formula in general, I do really love the ColourPop gel eyeliners. I think they glide on the eyes very easily and I also like how they're pretty opaque. Some colors you have to sort of build up a little bit to get to be completely solid, but most of them are pretty good as far as the opacity goes. And of course it's ColourPop, so they obviously have some really fun colors in their eyeliner collection. So I think it's great because it is very affordable. You could try out those fun colors without worrying again about breaking the bank. So these two over here are my two favorites. I did not want to choose black or brown because that's just boring. So these two are my favorite like alternatives for black and brown. So the first one over here is called Best O and this is a absolutely gorgeous sort of like reddish cranberry purple shade. What I really like about it is that even though it is a color, it is still very subtle for being a color. It does not scream, look, I'm wearing colored eyeliner, but it does add something different to your look. And this color is just amazing because it will make every single eye color pop. Now the other color that I wanted to mention is called Mr. Bing, and this was actually Kathleen Light's creation, who's one of my good friends. So I'm really excited to be mentioning this today because she just created quite honestly, the best warm brown eyeliner. Warm brown is another color that will really make all eye colors pop. It's just very flattering. And um, because it is a brown, it is very easy to wear. Now, as far as the two pencil eyeliners, the first one that I wanna mention, just because I just mentioned the Mr. Bing pot, is the Mr. Bing in the pencil form. Yes, I know it's the exact same color, but it is so, so great. The ColourPop um, eyeliner formula is really nice. They do last really, really well on the waterline, and they're very very smooth and they glide on really nicely onto the skin. This is probably just one of my favorite colors to apply in my waterline, especially for every day. Now another color that I would recommend is called Fast Lane and this is a really cool green shade. I love applying this in my waterline when I'm doing a smoky eye, but I want to add just a little bit of color to my look because it's such a gorgeous forest green shade, but it's not too intense or too bright and it's still subtle enough and I just think this is a really unique shade. I honestly do not have any other eyeliners that are even close to this shade. So that's it for the eyeliners. So now let's move on to the eyeshadows, which is probably the most overwhelming part of the ColourPop website. So basically the ColourPop eyeshadows are very similar to the cheek products as far as the formula goes. They have that same like cushiony texture to them. So because of that texture, to be honest with you, I personally do not love the mattes. However, the Super Shock Shadow Metallics are to die for. Some of the colors are really unique. They have such cool dimension to them. And because of the formula in particular, it really just makes the metallicness of the eyeshadow really pop. So most of the eyeshadows I'm talking about today are going to be a little bit more on the metallic side. The way that I like to apply the ColourPop eyeshadows is either with my finger and I just sort of press it onto my lid or I use a very dense synthetic brush. So the first shade that I have over here is Girly. Now, if you like really intense inner corner highlights then this eyeshadow is definitely for you it's really nice because it is like a white cream shade and has a little bit of like a reflect to it but it's not sparkly or shimmery and that's why I really like it for the inner corners because it really just brightens up the eyes the next shade that I have over here is called glitterati this is such an awesome eyeshadow personally I don't typically like silver eyeshadows but this is totally an exception this is a silver eyeshadow that almost has a little bit of gold in it as well so it looks really really cool on the lid My 
my favorite way to wear this is to actually layer it on top of a black cream base because it really makes it pop. Next I have Weenie, which is another Kathleen Lights creation. She basically created the best rose gold shade. This is just the most perfect rose gold. I love just applying this all over my lid and sort of just blending it out with a fluffy brush when I don't really want to do much else on my eyes. This is always a go-to. So set once in a while, I do like to bring out the color and this one called Coconut is the most awesome like royal blue shade. It has a little bit of a purple shift to it as well, which just looks so cool on the eyes. Again, this is another really great one to layer on top of a black cream base if you really want it to pop like crazy. Next we have Drift. Shades like this really just look good on everybody. They really do make all eye colors pop. It's such a beautiful cranberry shade that has a little bit of like a metallic sheen to it and this is just so beautiful to wear all over the lid, especially for the fall time. Olive green is probably one of my favorite colors to wear on the eyes, so I'm very picky when it comes to olive greens because there are a few that really just hold a very special place in my heart and one of them is most definitely this one, which is called Hammered. Honestly, just the perfect olive green because it's not too green. It still has those really nice neutral aspects to it that makes it very wearable. Now this next one is probably one of my top three favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. It is called Millionaire. This is probably one of the most dimensional eyeshadows that they have. It's a bronze base, but it has so many different colored flecks in it as well. There's like pink and purple and on the eyes it really just looks amazing. So next we have Mooning, which is one of the original eyeshadows that I ever bought from ColourPop. This one is really cool because it is a brown shade, but it's not your typical brown shade because it does have a purple shift to it. Lastly, we have Blaze, which is another cat Clean Lights Creation. This is a bronze shade. It's as simple as that. I think everybody needs a good bronze shade in their collection and this one is my favorite from ColourPop. So that's it for the eyeshadows. So now let's move on to the lip products. So one formula that I think is totally worth checking out from ColourPop is the Matte X formula. A lot of the times matte lip products can just be really crazy drying on the lips and just very uncomfortable. But these are great. I could totally wear them for hours on end and not feel like I want to rip them off my lips. The longevity of this product is also really great. They do last a really nice amount of time on the lips and I just think the formula is top notch so that's why I love it. So now I'm going to quickly talk about all of my favorite colors. So the first one that I have over here is called Chateau. This is a really beautiful Bordeaux color. It's like a brownie red, really gorgeous for the fall time. Next we have Booty, which is probably my favorite in the collection and this is an orange based red. Next we have Climax. This is a really cool shade. I wanted to include it because it was a little bit different. This is basically a navy shade. I think the reason it's so wearable is because it has some violet undertones to it, which is surprisingly pretty flattering. Then we have my three favorite nudes. The first one over here is called Cami, and this is just a classic mauve pink, a really gorgeous shade, very, very wearable, and I think perfect for the fall time. Then we have Pillow Talk, which is a really cool shade. When I look at the shade, it almost reminds me of a latte. It's like a neutral brown, maybe leaning a little bit more cool toned. I think it's just a really cool color, and I really don't have anything else like it. So next I have Hype Girl, which is a coral shade. Sometimes corals can be a little bit too pastel, or have too much white in them because it's a little bit more coral nude so it just makes it very easy to wear. The other lip formula that I think is totally worth checking out from ColourPop are the Ultra Satin Lips. These quite honestly just blow the Ultra Mattes totally out of the water. I am so obsessed with the Ultra Satin. I think it is such a great formula. So basically the Ultra Satins are sort of like a hybrid between a liquid lipstick and a lipstick. So it is not a completely matte liquid lipstick. It, instead, it does have a little bit of a satin finish, obviously, as the name suggests. The biggest difference between something like this and a matte liquid lipstick is how they actually feel on the lips. Matte liquid lipsticks can be very uncomfortable and very drying, whereas these are not drying even in the slightest, even though they have an almost matte finish. As far as the longevity for this formula, I would have to say that they are very long wearing, definitely way more long wearing than your typical lipstick but again, not as long wearing as a matte liquid lipstick. So here are my four favorite shades from the Ultra Satins. These two over here are again another Kathleen Lights creation. You guys can obviously see that I love the products that Kathleen creates. Um, these two are just such beautiful pinks. The one that I'm wearing on my lips right now is called Alyssa. This is a gorgeous sort of cool toned mauve. This is a gorgeous sort of like cool toned pink shade, really beautiful every day. The next one is called November and this is just a really cool shade. It's sort of like a hybrid between 
shade, a pink and a coral. The next shade that I have over here is called Cozy. This is another orange based red. Lastly, I wanted to mention a really cool shade. This one's called Marshmallow, sort of a gray based lilac. So it's definitely not the most wearable, but it is really awesome if you're looking for something a little bit different. So you guys, that completes all of my favorite products from ColourPop. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Do not forget to let me know in the comments what your favorite product is from ColourPop. Let me know what products you're gonna try out. Just honestly, let me know all of your thoughts because I always love reading your comments. And of course, let me know what brand you'd like to see me showcase next. Do not forget to also give this video a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time. Bye.